y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different, a bit more of a casual video because I'm sitting on the floor, literally my ass is on the ground. In my last new makeup releases, favorites and fails, I kind of had a dud month. I didn't really like a ton of things I tried out in January um, and those were of the new releases, but I have just a bunch of things I bought recently, not necessarily like new releases, just things I felt like buying and I did and I've just been really loving. So I wanted to share with you guys some of my current favorites. It's pretty much all beauty. I have like three style things. I just wanted to branch out. A lot of you guys have asked to see like fashion videos and I don't really wanna do like a full fashion video quite yet, but I figured I would share a couple extra things in here, just throw them in there that I've been loving. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> Okay, first things first, I'm gonna start off with probably the best thing in this entire video, the best thing in my entire life. My favorite thing I've tried out in the past like month and a half. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. It's one of the best eyeshadow formulas I've tried in a long, long time. Um, this is the Melt Cosmetics Gemini palette. You so fucking precious when you smile. Gemini one was the first one that came out and I am a Gemini. Um, not that I believe in astrology or anything. I actually don't know anything about astrology, so. There's that. Sorry, I know people are passionate about the Zodiac. <laughs> but this color scheme, bitch. Obviously it has the neutrals in here, which I wear on a daily basis. I pretty much just do brown for classes. Love that it's kind of this just like dramatic take on neutrals and olive tones, it's super grungy. It's just formula aside, the color scheme is beautiful, but formula included. Holy crap. Right now in my outlook, it's a mostly matte look. I'm wearing the shades Leo and Fire, which are two of the olive greens, and then Lorelei, which is the most beautiful, like kind of pukey brown, almost like mustardy yellow as well. It's just this really weird, really weird color that I very much enjoy. I'm also wearing a bit of the black shade here called Bonnie as a smoked out winged liner. Um, this is by far one of the best matte blacks I've ever used in my life. On my lids, I'm wearing the shade Goals. The shimmer formula and the matte formula are both amazing, but the shimmers, I don't even have to use wet and they show up insanely beautiful. I really, really want to get my hands on the Smoke Sessions palette as well. And then also I really want to try the stacks. I've heard some really good things like I've heard that the formula in the stacks is even better than the big palettes, so if that's true, wow. <laughs> Needless to say, I'm very impressed with this palette and I will be rocking this all throughout Gemini season as well as fall. It's just a beautiful fall palette as well. It's a beautiful all around palette and I'm just so in love with this right now, so this is currently a favorite. The next favorite is actually also on my body. It's this cardigan. I have such a deep, intense love for cozy sweaters, mostly because I don't get to wear them that often. I live in Southern California, but we've had some really weird weather. We've had a lot of rain, which is good for our drought right now, but not good for my seasonal depression. depression. Needless to say, in the about one month of cold weather that California gets, I love just breaking out literally every cold weather chunky sweater that I have in my closet, and this has been one of my favorites. This is from Morning Lavender. They have a pop-up boutique in my area, but they also have an online shop. I believe this is still available online. But I was going there for coffee, and they have a little boutique in the front, and I saw this sweater, and uh, I died. As you can see, it's huge. It's got these like, like cotton ball pom-pom thingies on here. Really well knit as well. The quality is amazing. It is super warm, but it's pretty much like a chunky knit, and there are some like little holes in here, so it has a bit of ventilation, so you don't get super like sweaty and toasty in it as well. I love it. It's very chunky. It's very cozy. Um, I've been wearing it just like around the house because it's comfortable enough to do that, but I've also felt like it's like cute enough and trendy enough to wear outside. So this has been one of my favorite things ever and I'm just loving it right now. This is a snack. I think I've mentioned this in a couple of videos recently, but I've actually just been really, really diehard in love with the Kylie Cosmetics look of lipsticks lately. The formula of these, I feel like is pretty similar to ColourPop, so I don't think you need to spend the money on the lip liners, but the liquid lipsticks, I think are pretty different from the regular ColourPop Ultra Matte formula. But I used to really, really hate Kylie Cosmetics liquid lips. I thought they were just the driest, shittiest formula ever. But I think they're on their like third reformulation at this point, and I love this current formula. It is really, really thin and very like, almost paint-like, so I feel like it glides on and it's really pigmented, but it doesn't have that heaviness to it, so it, is, it does dry down to a very nice matte finish, but I don't feel like it's cracking and being super thick and moussey, if that makes sense. And Kylie's shade offerings are just like straight fire. Don't say, don't say. Bars. My personal favorite is Kristen. It's this beautiful like raspberry reddish shade. I've tried to find dupes for this one and I haven't found a single one, but this is by far 
the best color that she offers. Candy K is one of my favorite nudes. It's just like this perfect in between like pinky nude, but also has a hint of brown and it's not too either one of them and it's not too warm, it's not too cool, it's just like perfectly in the middle. So Commando is also matte, it's more of a brown tone nude, so if you like that, this will be your babe. I recently wore this shade called 20, it's kind of like a rosy pink toned shade and I wore this in a recent video. I don't think I linked it in the description box because I suck. This is true. And I got a lot of questions about what I was wearing, so it was this. I've been loving my Kylie lip kits, or as Michaela Long would call them. Kylie lip kit. I did try Coco K, which I did not like. It was just too light nude for me. I really, really hate how super, super pale nudes look on me, even though I am very fair toned. I just feel like I look like I um, ate cocaine. So I think the lightest nude I can wear is JSC um, Christmas Cookie, but besides that, love these. <laughs> This is not a part of the video by any means, but I've also just been drinking these by um, coconut drinks. I was at Target the other day, just wilded in the $1 section. I found these on sale, so I bought like a ton of them and they're literally the best thing I've ever tasted. I have an unhealthy obsession with Gymshark leggings. So something that I'm very, very passionate about, but I never ever talk about on my channel is um, fitness. Livin', lovin', lurvin'. But I don't know what it is about having cute workout clothing, but it genuinely is a motivator for me to work out if I have a cute new workout outfit to wear. The only active wear I've been wearing have been my Gymshark leggings. My personal number one favorite style are the flex leggings. These are by far my favorites. My favorite ones are in the purple. Basically they have the waistband that says Gymshark. So if you don't like, like branding on stuff, you probably won't like these ones. Uh, they also have like a butt contour, which looks really weird when it's not on you, but on your butt, it makes your ass pop. These are the full length ones. I am very short, so they are a little bit long on me, but I have them in purple. I also have the like beet pink red ones, which I also really enjoy. And then I have the steel blue ones as well, but I couldn't find them anywhere. But these are the most like comfortable, like buttery soft leggings. Normally with like workout leggings, I can't like wear them after my workout because they're just super stiff and uncomfortable, but these are so soft. I actually wear these to sleep because they're super, super comfortable. They're like medium compression. If I'm wanting something that's really gonna like snatch me, the Energy Seamless have also been a favorite of mine. These are the purple ones. I love these, but they have a very, very tight compression waistband. So these will just like, and they can be a little bit more uncomfortable, but I love these ones. And I also have the matching bra. So if I want to feel super coordinated, these are also a favorite. And then the best of both worlds, if you want the higher compression, but also that like buttery softness, the ombre seamless are also a favorite. I have the purple, the gray ones. These are just like super cute and they have a subtle little butt contour as well. And I also have the beet red to pink ones. These are also a really cute fade. I can feel kind of weak sometimes in the gym just because I'm so small. I am very petite. I feel like I just, I don't look really muscular and I don't look very strong. I'm five foot zero. I, you could snap me like a twig, but I don't know, working out and having cute clothing while I do it makes me feel very powerful in the gym. So. I am so powerful. The obsession is so real. Back to makeup. So I'm a hoe for Charlotte Tilbury. It was then that Julia realized she fucked up her wallet. I've kind of taken it upon myself to just like slowly try out more things from her brand. Last year, I think the first thing I bought was their Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder, which is by far one of my favorite things I own. This, I've already gone through one of them. This is my second one and I love it. I'm in the shade number one fair. It's just the smoothest, softest, like velvety blurring powder. It doesn't even look like powder on your face. It just looks like perfection. I also really, really love the Hollywood contour one. This is a little bit of a warmer tone contour, but it blends so beautifully. I've never seen anyone look so beautiful than Robbie Christie when she uses this on her face. And then I purchased two things from them in December that I've just been loving on lately. This is the Film Star Bronze and Glow. So it's a contour and highlighter. I'm actually wearing both of these on my cheeks today. So this is what I'm wearing as my contour. And this is what I'm wearing as my highlighter. I rarely ever do powder contouring. I just like cream contouring on my face better, but this is the most natural looking, easy to blend out effortless powder contour. And I normally feel like it doesn't just look natural on my face, but this does. And the highlighter I was really thinking was just gonna be very soft and subtle just because that's what Charlotte Tilbury normally does, but it's surprisingly very, very nice and glowy. It's one of those powder highlighters though that can build up to be blinding, but still looks like a cream highlighter, honestly. It just melts into your skin and it's undetectable. But probably the most unique product that she offers in her line and Something I would recommend to anybody who has drier to normal skin would be the Hollywood Flawless Filter. Pretty much like a liquid highlighter, but I use it as an all over like complexion product. It's not a foundation, but it is kind of like a foundation substitute for me. So if my skin's doing well and I don't have like a ton of um, acne or I don't have any spots and I just want to like smooth everything out and look 
I'll just use this all over my face, add on some concealer in the areas I wanna just get rid of the obvious evidence that I don't get enough sleep at night. <laughs> it's just gorgeous. It looks very, 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 very glowy. So if you don't like looking almost borderline oily, but in a pretty way, you probably will not like this, but I love that. So really been enjoying this a lot. These make me look as close to the Kenda Swanepoel as I can and I'll take it. So my 2019 mission is to A, stick to my workout routine and B, uh, try out everything from Charlotte Tilbury. No. Also, I've kind of been hooked on by beauty stuff lately. So me having the driest lips known to mankind during winter, I heard a lot of recommendations to try out the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Masks and they had a holiday trio of three of them for $18. So this is like, I think one and a half full sizes, but a full size is 26 and this was 18. So it's a bomb deal and you get three flavors in here. Candy cane, which is like just pure peppermint sweetness. Very nice. Very nice. There's the regular one, which is just kind of like a lightly sweet, um, but mostly unflavored one. But this is maple syrup. This is my one true love. These are by far the most like thick, juicy, hydrating lip balm, but they're also kind of um, like non-slippy. So they're not super oily and they're not gonna like move around throughout the night. I feel like I can just put them on and wake up and my lips feel super nourished and pillowy soft, but not greasy. Also from Bite, I also tried out some of their liquefied lipsticks. So they have their Amuse Boost lipsticks, which are really nice hydrating, um, just like super buttery lipsticks, but they also came out with a liquid lipstick, which is the same formula, but liquefied as the name would imply. These were recently a Sephora Weekly Wow, so they were on sale for $11 each, and I picked up the shades Hickama and Caramelized. I believe Caramelized is a favorite of Mariah Leonard, but this is beautiful as like a center part of the lip, so if I wanna just bring a little bit of attention and make my lips look plumper, I'll just pop this into the center. Gorgeous. And then Hickama, um, you guys know I'm just a hoe for these kind of like dusty terracotta rosy shades and this is beautiful as well. So I just, I love Bite. I love Bite, I don't know why I didn't try them sooner. Okay, this is I think the second to last like non-beauty item that I have to show you guys, but I am not normally a person for mini bags, but one of my favorite bags recently has been this one from Melly Bianco. It is an all vegan company. This is just like a very sleek, um, it kind of looks like a very nice high-end designer bag. This is very like Celine reminiscent. Super cute, very well crafted, nice um, thin, but also heavy chain. And normally I don't like very small bags. I kind of stick to like medium or large. So I'm either carrying around my um, Givenchy Vegan Antigona bag or my like Stella McCartney Noma, which is a bit smaller. It's like a medium sized bag, but this is tiny. It's one of those very small bags. I feel like can actually fit stuff, which is nice. This is what it looks like on the inside. I can fit my wallet in there. I can also fit my phone. I have an iPhone 6S because I don't like updating my phone ever. And then I can fit in lipstick, a couple other makeup items. It's small, but it does a job. It carries pretty much all the essentials. And I love how this one looks. It's very nice and sculpted. And I just love this kind of structured, designer looking, but also minimalistic and cute. Because if pink isn't your thing, um, first of all, get off my channel. Second of all, I believe they do have black, which I love black. I kind of dress like a bat on a daily basis. But yeah, really obsessed with this bag. Hi, editing Julia here. I just want to apologize for how awkward I am in this video. Back to makeup items. I did not know that Anthropology carried makeup, um, so I was really excited. It seems that most of what they carry is like on the minimalistic, no makeup makeup side of things. So they have RMS Beauty, which is one of my favorite, like kind of glossier, but fancier. But I picked up two of these blush sticks from a brand called Albeit. It's like a multi-stick, so you can use it on your cheeks, but also it's really nice for the lips as well as like a sheer tint. I have the shades Ruby, which is like a bright, pure red. And then Grenadine, which is also a bright, pure red, but with a tiny hint of pink in there. And these are probably some of the best cream blushes I've ever tried out. Again, if you're kind of into that glossier vibe of things, I think you'll really enjoy these. And even if you're not, these two shades I bought, they're obviously very bright. Um, so they're gonna show up on deeper complexions as well as me, very, very fair. I just take extra time to blend these out and they look beautiful on the cheeks. But these give the most like natural, yes, I did go outside today, flush on your cheeks and I've really been enjoying these a lot. I love me some good skincare. So I recently um, decided to try out a bunch of oils from Sunday Riley just to test out which one I like best. And I believe they just released a new one called the CEO Glow. That one has like vitamin C in there. I have the UFO Clarifying Facial Oil, which I already owned. And then I also bought the Juno Essential Facial Oil and the Luna Sleeping Night Oil. And I've kind of been loving all three of these. I use these two at night exclusively so UFO if I'm really dealing with some bad acne and then the Luna one is really nice if I'm not dealing with 
acne necessarily, but I do have texture because it is a retinoid oil. The Juno one, I like doing if I have like clear skin, I'll use this one at night, or I'll use this one in the morning as a nice moisturizer. But either way, I've just been loving having these light facial oils to put on. I feel like they're really good at just like locking in your moisture. So if you've been finding that regular moisturizer just isn't doing the job for you, I would recommend trying out an oil. I feel like it's really, really just like that next step in nourishing. Real quick, I wanted to share my favorite, favorite pair of shoes recently. Um, I wear heels on a daily basis. Again, I'm five foot zero and I'm very self-conscious about my height. So I take it upon myself to wear anything with a heel, honestly. So most of the time it's just like a boot or a booty with a wedge or a heel. We'll see me in class wearing like sweatpants, but also boots with a heel. These are just my current favorite and they're from Forever 21. I normally don't really shop there that often, but I saw these in the store window and I was like, uh, hell yeah. These are very, very steampunk, very Prada. Just lace up, they have a nice like three, three and a half inch heel. And the laces are just beautiful, like rich velvet. High key, really loving these a lot. And these are currently my favorite shoes. Just to finish up, I have already talked about this product on my channel, but I feel like it needs a little bit more love and I only talked about it once and I love it so much that I'm not gonna never mention it again. So this is the um, Kaja Mochi Glow Highlighter in the shade Toy Alien. And I have been wearing this like nonstop. This and my Amorizi highlighter from ABH have become my two just like two go-to favorite highlighters in my collection. It's a bit of a softer glow, so it's not the most dramatic, but you can build this up to be a very nice dewy shine, but it's not gonna be like super obvious on the skin. So I feel like this is beautiful for a no makeup makeup day, but I really enjoy this one. You don't get a ton of product in here, but it's $19 from Sephora. So not as expensive as some other highlighters go and definitely one of my favorite formulas. Finally, the last thing that I've just been, ugh, so in love with lately has been the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow Serum. This is an AHA serum. It has completely taken over the Drunk Elephant TLC Framboose. And really gentle on the skin, but also very, very effective. So if you find that like AHA or acid serums are too, too abrasive, this will be a nice, um, just kind of it's the same effect, but just gentler on your skin. And I recently went off this one just to see if it would do anything. And uh, my acne just came right back. No, 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 no. All right guys, so that is it. Those are some things I've bought recently that I've just been really loving and I wanted to share with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a bit more of a laid back chill, relaxing one. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and also follow me on Instagram to see makeup looks like this melt one posted semi-regularly. And if you made it to the very end of this video, I love you. You get the bonus meme. Bye. <laughs>